you know even to this day she'd create a little uh, treasure hunt for Cute. us with clues to where our final present would be I love treasure oh, hunts they're the best man I'm so down they're the best that will get actually that will get me into the Christmas spirit that's a little it. treasure hunt get, or Easter your, Easter egg hunt ask, as ask well. your sister or your mum can you just create for <laughs> one of my presents could you just create just, a treasure hunt for me just create a treasure hunt, for me? Just create yeah. a treasure hunt. good is that you what's that it's slayed or whatever the, <laughs> <laughs> that part of the song is... it's christmas <laughs> dude i want to talk about that for a long time do you think what is that uh I, it makes me and my brothers well i remember jamie and i just both it was only like until like two christmases ago where we were like hold on what's he fucking what what is his deal screaming yeah yeah, in like, that song like if you just isolated those vocals on their <laughs> own it's Christmas and it would have been so funny to watch that in a studio should I just scream it's Christmas <laughs> yeah. um, it was so high yeah. or like on whatever and then he was just like guys I've got it I'm just gonna fucking yeah. scream yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they're all like yeah let's do it the producer was like look guys it's sounding <laughs> really good is there anything we could do for like um, just the ending the little outro just to some dif- a di- differentiate layer. a little bit yeah add some substance yep leave it to me <laughs> leave it to me <laughs> It's Christmas. <laughs> Screaming, fucking <laughs> child, man. <laughs> Shy. What what a kid would do if they went into a studio and 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 the producer said, "Hey, give give me, just sing something." Okay, it's good. Fucking calm down, man. Calm down. We know it's Christmas and everyone's happy, but. <laughs> Calm Screaming. down, man. All right, we'll turn it off. So we, we love it. We it. love. We're so happy that it's Christmas, uh, but... f- dude. If you if you like Christmas music, unsubscribe. You like you don't like Christmas. Unfollow. Music. No, it's it's not good. Oh, no. Well, I I, hate I, I wow. I completely. If you like disagree. Christmas music, um, you just just stop watching. Are you being serious? It's thumbs down. You're, we're gonna get loads of, of <laughs> thumbs ups because everyone likes Christmas music. Because it's yes, like, I'm saying, if you if you like it, thumbs down. No, don't <laughs> please, because that will affect our our view, our, our growth. It, no, Christmas music is terrible, dude. Really, yeah. you don't like Christmas? Why not? Have you ever worked in retail? Yeah, yeah, that's why. Well, well Superdry didn't play Superdry didn't play festive music. There's well, always a playlist. So fucking good. For Actually, them. you know what? I don't know, but this was ages ago. I feel like they didn't play festive music, but then again. They must have done because why wouldn't they? It's just honestly, it's just, tell I, me, I, tell I, me I don't mind. It. I don't mind the genre. I don't mind the genre of Christmas music, but it's this weird thing where everyone in life is so depressed with themselves, and they look forward to this one day of the year that gets turned into like two months, right? And it's like, and I wouldn't mind Christmas music if we made new songs, which people do try to do. Don't get me wrong. There's always like a new Christmas song, but like I'm talking about, let's make like a new batch of them and maybe make some of them more catchy and well, not catchy, maybe the right word, but like a bit more contemporary, a bit more modern. Like we don't need to listen to the same twelve songs for two months of the year, all, okay. for all all of those two months. Like it's exhausting, and I'm done. I'm twenty. I'm twenty five so, now. I'm done with those songs for listening for twenty five years. You don't mind the songs? You just hate how often they're played. Yeah, I just think there's no variety. It's the same thing. It's either fucking Mariah Carey <laughs> or it's Christmas. I, every time. See, I. I don't necessarily disagree with you. I just don't... I think you're looking at it at the wrong angle because... Okay. Tell um, me, speaking of angles, <laughs> you look like a director. <laughs> yeah, fucking... Oh, I've got, this is you my... Like this is the nearest Ron, thing I have. This what's is his the, name? Ron, Ron ha- Howard. Ron Howard, yeah. The, um, what was the film with um, Chris Hemsworth? And the dri- Is it Dry? It's not Drive. It's... Um, you know, the Formula One, um, James Hunt and Nicky Lauda... Um, Driven. Nope. <laughs> That's a great... I don't know why I can't remember it. I, I thought it was a great film. Senna. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, not Senna. 
Ford versus Ferrari. No, not no. Um, Ron Howard. I'm pretty sure directed it. It's, he's it, ginger guy, right? Ron yeah, Howard, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, anyway, yes, I do look like him. And this is my shirt. I mean, I know that. This yeah. is the nearest. Did you say you look like him as well? No, I was going to no, say, <laughs> I thought you went, yeah, I look like him as well. <laughs> Just not at all. Um, I, yeah, so we wanted to go Christmas themed. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, as someone, I came strong with the Christmas jumper. Also, PlayStation related, which is another topic of yeah. bother at the moment. Talk. Um, but, but you know, combining combining well, gaming with, with Christmas. Passion. But hey, that's fine. You know, everyone can, <coughs> everyone can. You know, don't. Hey, it's a joke, man. <laughs> yes, it's, it's fine. It's a joke. Yeah, this is my. Um, and you decide to come as a director for Christmas. <laughs> Listen, this is the closest Christmas show I had here because okay. my other stuff is down in my, my other my, house at my parents' house, uh, and I actually down have at a, the lodge. I have a specific Christmas shirt. Uh, and this is the best I could do. And you know what? I'm not mad at it. This isn't too you look bad. Good. Cheers, man. I look as most people look in Christmas jumpers, which you look is good. ridiculous. No, you're looking, looking beefy. Yeah, I do. It, it, it does. It's quite an old jumper, but you know what? Sometimes the old clothes fit in all the right yeah. places. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Um, but look, I think Christmas songs, the reason why... I, I personally bad. think all the Christmas songs... Um, <clears throat> are better because it, they're more nostalgic for us because they were, um, I don't, I don't, I don't really take too well to new Christmas, mu- new Christmas songs because they don't Cause remind, bad. because they don't remind me of Christmas because th- I, they're brand new. Yeah. I, yeah. Right? But that's, that's my point. I just, I wish we wouldn't hold so much of our happiness attained to like that time of year to the point where we like to feel nostalgic to a simpler time. Well, yeah, but that's, we should blame our culture for that. Yeah, because that's we, what we I do. mean. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I think... But I get what you mean. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I know I, what you mean. You don't want to listen to new Christmas music because it's the whole it's the whole, the whole spirit of, yeah. the, of the holiday is nostalgia. Yeah, and then that's it. You listen to the old music. You, you're, yeah, okay. You're yeah. desperate to feel what you, what you... Well, for me anyway, I'm desperate to feel what I felt as a kid and I'll never mm-hmm. be able to feel that excitement. Happiness, yeah. excitement, warmth. Yeah. Now we're hollow, mm-hmm. cold dead inside well, maybe not that far now um, maybe not that far end is near no no alright we're going off to, uh, this is, let's keep everyone everyone up in, 2020 was bad 2021 <laughs> yeah. gonna be worse I, I think that um, Christmas music I just prefer the oldies stuff but, but yeah like I say it reminds me of my childhood and it's, it is it, I, it, it, no it is fun the, mm. I don't think you could bring out a song in 20, 2020 where you had a dude scream into the microphone right. no. it's christmas and it would do well and that's beautiful no. that we have that yeah. so okay i'll give it that yeah um you know the george the wham song last christmas i gave you my heart if that came out now i mean it sounds so dated and i just Very corny. It wouldn't so corny but it, would, it wouldn't but we do it. well but, but back then it worked and it reminds me of christmas but it is sad that i will never have that i mean i guess it's chris i guess it's different you have to look at it from an adult's point of view like maybe when you have kids it would be exciting to make their christmas really exciting but you won't i i've never been able to i still love it like i love being around my, my my friends and family yeah but i will never you you will never have that you know i don't think there's ever more of an exciting time in your no. life than christmas as a kid yeah it was it was the pinnacle of of life. It was a pinnacle of happiness and excitement, definitely. Yeah, it really, really yeah, was. And that's sad. It is sad. It, and we live for Christmas. <clears throat> I remember still believing in Father Christmas. I remember that feeling and when that was taken away from me, just growing up, <laughs> it on, honestly... Someone gave it a shot Santa in front of you. Pretty much. When he was taken away from me. You know what? It wasn't even a... It wasn't like my mum told me. I, I saw... I opened up a Father Christmas present that I saw my mum buy. Oh. And I, I, at that moment I went... <laughs> Cuts to black and white. Yeah, it, it, it was. I, I had actually, I think that was the, <laughs> that was from boy to man. Yeah, that, you, that eight, moment. eight year old you was like, well, like say, so this is life, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like in the movie, it's like, yeah. that's when I, that's when I knew. That's when I realised. Like that, your voice went that deep yeah, as an eight year old. Yeah, You were like, oh my God, mum, yeah. I'm so excited. And then you see it, it's like, well. That was it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happiness is over. But um, <laughs> but no, I I do th- I do think that you have to embrace it as well. Like you have to embrace the music, and and also I would say listen to jazz <laughs> covers of those famous songs. <laughs> Swear to God, I it's not found like the slow the slow down movie trailer music. No, no, no. Covers. It's like um, you know, this Christmas will be you know, you know that fucking how does it go? It's very sounds terrible. Christmas. 
there's a there's a woman who <laughs> like does, Michael Bublé basically is what well, you're trying Michael to say. Michael Bublé does really good covers <coughs> of Christmas songs, right? Mm-hmm. I think you can mix it up. Listen to a bit of Bublé. Listen to the the, the originals, and okay. then there's this woman that I found called. Right, I'm not making her name up. She, I'm pretty sure she's Dutch. Trinche Oosterhuis, right? But right. she she does a mean change it. Christmas. Yeah, change it for sure. Just just for marketing sake, I think you <laughs> I think you do better with a different name. But um, she does like famous songs, but in a jazz way, and it's so good. It's super warm. It's like oh, when I listen to this, I I can picture a fire next to me, Christmas tree. It's dark outside. Right. Like families all around got hot chocolate. Like it brings you to that mood. It's the, my number one Christmas album. I would say list maybe although you'll be listening to the same songs, but covers, you might get some joy out of out of that. That's what I would say. That's my advice to you. I think I don't mind. It's just the repetitiveness yeah, of it. But I, I see that. Yeah. Um, mm. Okay. So that's a good recommendation. What was the name again? Just for everyone at home. Trinche. It's T R T R I J T J N E or something like that. I'm really butchering <laughs> it. I swear to God, it's as weird as that. Oosterhuis. Double O S T E R U I S or something like that. Right. Okay. Uh, sure, man. Great Sounds good. There you go. Um, just looking at my jumper reminded me. Um, have you got a? Did you manage to get a hand on a PS5, or were you looking for one? Or I wasn't looking for one. No, okay, cool. No, I didn't really. I didn't care too too much to stress that much about okay. having to be online at the were right you, time. Were you? Were you on the boat of like where you just don't care? You wait for it later. Or were you in the boat of like the lack of stock and the hype around it then made you want one? Um, uh, my friends and my brothers, you guys, you friends were buying one that's the only reason I, oh obviously i know that it would be fun to have one but i think right now in my life i'm not missing out on much okay. because all we're yeah. playing we're still is, we're still in the bridge zone yes. of like everything that's still coming out on ps4 anyway yeah exactly, or whatever exactly so it'd be like you don't need to be fair no. you don't really need one for another no. year or so and i feel like someone who solely and 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 um purely plays warzone <laughs> does not need my guy does not need to fucking it's have cracked a ps5 warzone. <laughs> So, so yeah. You are pretty good at Warzone. <laughs> I'm, I am, a, I am okay. Uh, okay. I am oh, okay. Give yourself a bit more credit, man. You, I'd say you're very good. Yeah, I'm all right. You're, you're banging on PC, but when you had to play on my <laughs> controller, <laughs> you, you realize how difficult it is. Yeah, for I'm me. worse. Yeah, I'm, I'm way worse than you on controller than you are on that's, controller. That's just familiarity, though, isn't it? Yeah. You're just, you don't know how, how to work it. Uh, uh I was, yeah, I've been playing COD. I started, that was like my first game when I got into PC gaming was like COD. Modern Warfare 2. So I've been playing on PC for quite a while. Oh, well, but yeah. um, I did manage to get a P- PS5. I just like to flex that. Um, all you kids looking to get one and parents looking to buy one for their children. I was one of the lucky ones to get it and I'm not parting with it. How um, much would you? How much did you buy it for? Just the, the normal retail price. Which is what? If you don't um, mind saying. Uh, I think 450 for the disc version. If yeah. someone said to you, can I buy it off of you for 1,500? Would you do it? Yeah, absolutely. 1,000? One, nah. Okay, twelve hundred. Some people. That's what you know. That's what some people yes, are selling them for. So basically, yeah. a bunch of bots and scalpers obviously buy them. Mm-hmm. So this, I mean, it is a bother in itself that PlayStation have into. I, in my opinion, have intentionally done this in order to create want. Basically, they want. They've tried. They've created now this demand um, and intentionally kept the supply low to make people want them. I'm not gonna lie. I fell for it when the pre-orders were coming out, and I saw that they were like almost gone already i was like oh let me just get one because i know i'm gonna want it at some point probably didn't need it but here we are yeah i am enjoying it though it's a good console um sponsored by playstation thanks sony thanks sony thanks for the 50 grand for this video incredible i'm not supposed to mention the figure no don't (laughs) Um, going back there what is your favorite (laughs) christmas song if you if there is one like one that you don't mind so much (laughs) the fact that we went back to christmas almost it was like a Sony sponsored segment. <laughs> yeah. We interrupt yeah. this broadcast yeah, to bring yeah, you yeah. a message from anyway, Sony. Thanks for the ad. Yeah, going back. What, what would My you... favorite Christmas song. Yeah. Um, I don't mind that one where he screams Christmas, to be fair, because Quite it jolly. makes me laugh each yeah, time yeah, yeah. and I love it. And I love his audacity. Um, yeah, sorry, keep going. Oh, that's fine. No, no, no. You please, crack please. on. No, uh, no, after no you. you love his audacity. Yeah. No. You okay. well, me. I was just going to say because of that sound that, that him yeah. doing something funny I also have two Christmas songs where there's always something that I laugh at okay but um, let's talk about it okay so you know the wizard song which probably just whilst we're here 
the reason why we're talking about Christmas is this is what bother and this is our Christmas special. Yes, um, very exciting stuff. I think it's it is this would be coming out. This is going to be coming out the day before Christmas. Yes. So yeah, to keep it nice and relevant. Merry um, Christmas Eve, everyone. I'm Tam. I'm Nick. But yep. for today's episode, I am Rudolph, and I'm um, uh, what's Santa's <laughs> other name? Um, Nick. It's like. Nicholas, um... Oh, don't. It's on the top of my head. And everyone's <laughs> screaming at us right yeah, now. I know. <laughs> Why can't I remember it? Um, um, is, is it Nicholas, right? Scrooge. No, it's fucking... Although, no, that, that does probably... That's probably that's the character that I better am. better for yeah. you, yeah. Um, no, it's... Fuck, man. It's going to really bother me if we don't get this. What is it? Nicholas, um... Okay, we don't. We're spending way too long. Okay, there. it doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, I'm Scrooge. You're Scrooge. Scrooge and Rudolph. Here Rudolph, we go. Um, this is what bother. We talk about what bothers us. More importantly, what bothers you. But right now, we're going to talk about what Christmas songs Nick yeah. likes. I mean, you know, um, I wish it could be no, not uh, the Wizard song. I wish it could be Christmas. <laughs> That's also, Slade and Wizard yeah, as band names. That's only you could only get away with that in the eighties. Yeah. I get them those two songs mixed up as well. Like, yeah. I can't tell really tell the difference until I hear them. They're both the same song. Slade to me. sound like they should be a metal band though, for sure. Oh, for sure. Slade. Um, yeah. The, at the beginning of this song, I wish it could be Christmas every day. I won't play it for too long because of copyright. But he, the, the guy makes a fart. He farts at the start. Like, listen. <laughs> I've never heard that before. He, just, he fully just goes, oh yeah. Every time, me and my brother Jamie are like, <laughs> we, we always crack up. I will never, I will never be able to unhear that now no, when I listen to that you song. Go. And I hope that happens to everyone who's listening. Also, sad that he wishes it could be Christmas every day, you know. I'd really mm. take away the special feeling from it if it was every day and i and you know what even as a kid i used to think that as well when i was like seven i was like that's stupid because then it wouldn't be a special <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're way too grown up way too seven cynical year old. as a seven-year-old um yeah what was the other one uh no i'm, I'm gonna I, you know i can't i've lost it's the my i actually i don't know if i could pick a favorite i think if i had to pick a favorite beatles one i would go with the paul, <laughs> i would go with the paul mccartney do they have multiple well no john lennon has his one which is depressing and Are i remember sure my john class Lennon's when i was in a level music and everyone's like what, what, what out of the beatles out of john lennon and paul mccartney who did the best christmas song the majority was was john lennon's it was, oh is this christmas oh yeah of course i don't know why happy, i didn't think of it. Yeah, sad. So sad. sad. Paul McCartney's. Yeah. Like, Wimply Havoc. I don't mind so that one. Yeah. That one no, is... you're right, though. The John Lennon one is so depressed. I remember being yeah. in, like, work when I used to work in, like, the shoe shop, and, like, it was Christmas 24 7, mm -hmm. and that song came on, and you're, like, Dude, that would talking be... to these people that you just don't give a shit about, and it's just like that song comes on, you're just like, cut to black and white and just it's awful imagining yeah. hanging yourself from a, your fucking have chair have you ever have you ever told like the supervisor can we change your song yeah, I've had to 100%, do that before like, 100% like there was a ugh. actually uh, I remember at my auntie's right we, um, she used to have this Sonos system you know the music system yeah. uh, so she'd have speakers around the house and this like this was way before iPads and Bluetooth and stuff so it was like brand new we were just blown away by the technology uh, you, we could play we all went around the table and like cued a song that we wanted next right it's a really sweet thing that we do after after a Christmas dinner and I saw because I loved the Paul McCartney song um, Wonderful Christmas Time and I was like oh there it is press play or like oh it's, it's cued next and it would never come on but what kept coming on was this really sad song um, but it was a cover of the Paul McCartney song right and it was it was simply <laughs> I was honestly so crying sad. everyone was like who picked this one it was, I, I was like it was not me but it was I was just, and I kept playing it because I was like oh it's not working and throughout the night it was just <laughs> simply it was so, so sad. sad didn't need to be that sad why <laughs> yeah why is why is that for some people of like oh let's make it Christmassy let's slow it down and yeah. make it kind of sad why are you ever making a sad Christmas, Christmas is fun. song I know I'm going to upset one of the viewers here, but because uh, I, I I know who one I know that I know they I know they love this one. You know the um, well, so could anyone? Uh, 
could have been someone. Well, so could anyone. Da, da, da. Great rendition. Um, no idea what the fucking you know, song is. Oh, yes, of course. Dude, the one. Irish one. Da, da, na, That's a great na, na. song. Dude, oh, dude, I don't like it, man. <laughs> it's sad at the start. Well, I could have been someone. <laughs> well, so, oh, man. They've changed it now. What? To what? You know, the, the part that they changed it. It's like, I don't know if it's this year or the past couple of years. The bit where it goes, um, you know, you, you, oh, what does he say? Like, you loser, you maggot, you yeah, cheap, lousy. Yeah, F word. Yeah, they, they, that's changed now. But that's not what he meant, though. Or was it? It doesn't matter. They've, they've, they've changed it. How now. could they change it? It's so old. Like, yeah. in terms of, like, how could they record that exactly I the same way? I think they've re recorded part of it. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, impressive. Yeah. I, I didn't think know that, that they said, like, they, you know, I, I, well, I uh, no, obviously they didn't say anything about it. The online internet community voiced an opinion about it, and then right. now they've they've changed it. That's incredible. Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, good thing. What do you what do you reckon? <laughs> if that was his intention, um, if he was trying, well, I think to be, it was though. What he didn't. Treat, I think just back then that word was just thrown really? thrown out a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, definitely not. Okay. I think a lot of people are like, no, he's talking about the food or whatever, right. and it's like, no, I don't think, I don't think he was. I think, I, I, the, uh, or she e was. An I F word remember. is a bundle of wood, as well. You know, there is a meaning for it in that sense too. Yeah, and there's also the the food, right? The, there's a, I don't there's know. A, there's a food, but no, well, but I think in that context, I think in the whenever it was written, was it the yeah. 80s or I something? I think that word was just obviously thrown out the okay. um, a, a lot. And I, I think they said, you know, it was kind of written at a different time. We'll, we'll, we'll change it. So I think it's, um, I can't, you know what? I can't remember what it's changed to. Hold on. You fill some time. I'll find out. Um, do you remember what the song's called? No, just put depressing Irish Christmas song. <laughs> that would, that would do the job. Oh, it's not depressing. It's so good. Um, there is another song which we need to talk about in terms of being cancelled okay. for Christmas. But I'll let you find no, that No, no, you, you crack on. No, no, no. You talk are, at are me. Are you there? Fairy Tale of New York was the song. Mm -hmm. da, da, na, 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 na. Singer Michael... Oh, don't know why we're getting Michael Bublé's take on it. Singer Michael Bublé comments on censoring Christmas songs saying times have changed. So maybe he changed it first mm. or this is just unrelated. You crack on, mate. I do, yeah, it's probably, no, you know what? It's not probably Sorry, a good Kirstie. thing. It is a good thing. Kirsty McCall's changed controversial lyric for TV appearance in 1992. Good. Oh, you know what? Cool. We're progressing and I like to see it, baby. Um, I, I always, like, really winds me up in that song where he goes, I could have been someone. And then she goes, what's up? anyone <laughs> and i'm like no they can't not everyone fucking can be anyone darling this guy might have had some obscene talent that he that he had and she and he's like i could have been someone and she's like no so could anyone it's like no nah, not everyone can be i don't know why it just always grates me yeah that's time. quite I depressing i think that's kind of the point of this song though mm. um a video re-emerged in 2019 of a live performance at the Top of the Pops in January 1992 in which McCall changed the original lyrics, you cheap, lousy, uh, F word, I'm not going to say it, to uh, you're cheap, <coughs> you're cheap and you're haggard. Cool. When, when did they do that? Uh, last year. Oh, nice. Good for them. Yeah. Good for them, baby. Um, I that's, just thought that was interesting. That is interesting. And that's made me remember, Has have they cancelled Santa Baby? No, no, no. Oh, it's cold outside. It's cold yeah, outside. Yeah, 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 I yeah, think they have. Well they've also done that as well. Yeah. What's your take on that, man? Um, I remember the only thing that I, makes me laugh because uh, Key and Peele, you have to go. You have to go watch it. Key and Peele did a skit on it, right? They do amazing, hilarious sketches of that, where it's basically like the guy's kind of starting to sing the song, and then she's just like, "This is." no like i want to go home and he's right. like baby stay and she's like i want to go oh, right, okay. um yeah i mean it's a little like it's a little rapey isn't it i i just i don't i don't know to be honest i haven't looked into it enough i haven't read the lyrics it's i like don't know the song he, too well he's like she's oh. literally saying like i really must go and he's like baby it's cold outside yeah. you should stay but 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 th you're bearing in mind that that's a, a, a that was written by a, I guess, a, a guy and a, ma again, a male and a female. I think I think the issue is we don't know the context right. of what you've seen about. Right. But I this is how I interpreted it personally was it was a playful kind of like 
back and forth mm-hmm. between the two. But again, don't know the context. Some people think it was a bit. Is she bit not rapey. sort of teasing him? That's why. That's what I interpret it as. That's, but again, yeah. don't know the context See, of it. So. I, I interpret it that way. Like, I'll be, I, I really can stay. Like she's trying to like being played for hard yeah. to get. Exactly. Yeah. And he's like, oh, come on, let's just stay inside. <laughs> and it's just, for me. It's weird. It's a little bit weird, though. It, but yeah, no, it I is get It's weird. It. But at the same time, don't fucking women. Okay, look. Oh. Hold on. Oh, don't don't women love it when guys are like, take initiative. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. are we not forgetting that it's just. <laughs> there's a, a lot of, um, definitely in 2020, there's a lot of mixed signals. It's like, Oh, you know, guys should be confident, take initiative, but right. also don't. But also don't. But also don't yeah. because that's rapey. Yeah. But then also do because then you're kind of a beta if you don't. I, I, man, it's, I do get it. I do understand that it, it does come across rapey, but I also think that they're like trying to look at it in a negative way. I really don't yeah. think it was meant to sound. I don't think it was meant to. Well, be here's that the rule um, for anyone who needs help with that stuff, especially if you're courting members of the other opposite sex. Is if you're ugly, then it's creepy and rapey. If you're hot, then it's assertive and romantic that's pretty much how mm-hmm. it works and that's it and that's all we're going to say on it because that's the way that it is i kind of wish that we had the lyrics to be honest because I, li- literally find like, if you want. yeah let's both do it um because i really do take it how we <coughs> both how we both said like they're at his house or her house or whatever and the fire's lit and you know it's getting late you know they've had a couple glasses of wine and you know, I really must go. Do you want, I mean, do you want to see this? Why baby outside became annual controversy about date rape and consent. It was also written in 1994. So there probably was a lot of like rapey undertones to it because that's just kind of what they got up to back then. Um, it's actually been changed quite a few times in, 19, in 2014. My mother will start to worry. Beautiful that what's your hurry my father will be pacing the door listen to the fireplace roar so really i'd better scurry beautiful please don't hurry may well maybe just half a drink more yeah she- i think i think it's up for interpretation i think it's but up for they definitely meant it in a non-rapey way they you didn't think? think of course they didn't they didn't think let's write about me try- like a guy like trying to <laughs> I rape think, a girl again i think it it goes back to the other one where it's just like the standards for treating other people was just different. The same thing with the um, fairy tale of New York song where it's just mm-hmm. like the, the the language that was used was just different back yeah. then. How about then in the song? If I really, I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold. I'd say, get the, please get the fuck away. Okay, <laughs> I'm leaving you now. Be more di- direct. Yeah, but that's Rock- not as fun. That's not as cute. Well, th- she's playing him about then. <laughs> she's messing him about. Here Poor guy. Go. I don't want to get into this. <laughs> anyway. No, I think um, I think she could have been more direct in the lyrics if she was actually that upset. Yeah, I, I imagine I that's like they're still recording the song and that's when that, br- that argument breaks out. It's like, <laughs> yeah. not leave me alone. And then they still put it out there. I really um, can't stay. Of course, this is What Bother, where we talk about What Bothers Us, yeah. including Ray P, Christmas lyrics, it's and What Bothers a... You. Yeah. Um, and we asked you guys, thanks for everyone that showed up and came out mm. to our live gig. I think it's probably going to be a slightly longer edition today. Yeah, Christmas episode, Christmas obviously. Baby. Um, we asked you guys for some Christmas bothers and you guys did not disappoint. Uh, so thank you very much for everyone that wrote in. <clears throat> Would you like a... We've got a... Christmas bother and a Christmas dilemma that needs advice. What would you like first? Um, a Christmas dilemma. Okay. Is it a question? It is, yeah. Oh, so we've got a bother that's quite short. Maybe, okay. I'll, maybe I'll go with the short bother first. Okay, dude, just I know do, what, do you know the opposite what? of what I just said. I asked you and I'm yeah. going to completely disregard what yeah. you answered and I'm going to go with the other hey, one. Man, that's fine. That's fine. You know why? Because I'm not petty. Yeah, and I am. So that's how we're here. <clears throat> this is from Smith Rowe again. Smith, hey baby. Smith Rowe coming out. number one fan. Um, number one OG. Number one OG. Love you, man. <clears throat> this is uh, Smith Rowe. People that call it Xmas. Okay. Apparently this is the bother. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll read the whole thing. I'll see okay. what you have to say. I don't know how or why this is the shortened word of Christmas came about, but it's unnecessary. People have said it to me before that it's like Chris Crossmas. And then that's how some that turns into Xmas. Um, but I'm not buying it. Smith Rowe, number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he hates Xmas. He hates Xmas. Hey, look. I don't think you should ever say it in a sentence when you're speaking using your mouth. Yeah, has anyone ever said, hey, you're looking forward to Xmas? Xmas. 
No, I, you know what? I 100% agree. No, it's the same syllable. There's one syllable in X and there's one syllable in Chris. Christmas, Xmas. Same amount of effort. You should never say Xmas. But when you're writing it as a text or on social media, easy, I understand it? it. There's um, a lot less characters to use. Much quicker, done. I, I also understand that Xmas is also a little bit more inclusive, right? Because like... That's what if I thought that Xmas was more kind of like happy holidays as opposed to happy Christmas, where it's like Chris, Chris Christianity, Christianity, you know, whereas Xmas is more just like, Interesting. hey, this is holiday bullshit season, you know? Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, no, I just meant like, as in, you know, not getting caught up in the religious aspects of it. Right. Maybe, you know what? But then I don't know if I'd associate the, the X with the cross. Jesus. I think he's like, yeah, Chris. Oh, maybe, yeah. Hey, oh, maybe X. Well, X, X and cross are two different things, though, isn't it? You got a oh, forty-five like degree. The, it's like the cross then just fell slightly, and yeah. Most, no, but I. If you, um, I if you're friends with anyone that says Xmas out loud and in a conversation, um, get new friends. But. <laughs> It's fine written down, I think. I love that that is a bother. I love that he, he obviously finds it very, very yeah, irritating. So irritating to, have to write in. To a, yeah, that's, uh, but I, I do agree. I, do, I think never say it, only write it. I think, hey, Smith, I think you have to be okay with the written form. I really do. Yeah. I don't think that's the biggest problem. It's not very inclusive of you, Smith, right, to be honest, to not like it. Is that the reason? Do you think? I don't know. I mean. <laughs> no the, idea. What other religions does, I mean, people aren't religious um, celebrate Christmas because it's just fun. Yeah. It's come from a religion, atheists all around the world. Late, well, not all of them, but a lot of them love love Christmas for non-religious reasons. They just love it as a yeah. commercial. Uh, event. I, I wouldn't say I'm a particularly religious person, but I probably still celebrate yeah. Christmas. Do you know why? Because I like presents. <laughs> yeah, you do, baby. You love giving and receiving, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Are you a giver or a receiver? Um, well, both. Yeah, but what do you prefer? What do you get I off to? I actually love. I love giving. You get off to giving. Yeah. Nice. I do. Yeah, me too. I do. I think as you, when I was younger, hundred percent receiving. Yeah, obviously. Uh, yeah, and then like... as a, as an adult, it's, you know what? I actually don't like, I, I don't, I like it when everyone is, um, opening presents at the same time. I don't like it when it's one at a time and there's pressures on you. I really don't That's like really the spotlight. That's really funny. I don't like the spotlight. It's funny all. you say that. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So, um, and we have another, the question, the the, the uh, dilemma <clears throat> is related to this. It's a good segue. This is from. Uh, okay, don't mind if you use my names. This is this is Lucy. Uh, love the show. I don't mind if you use my name. I'm 29 from Devon. This is Lucy. Hey, Should, Lucy. Do we have a name for Lucy? Well, there you go. <laughs> no. um, I might sound like a downer here, but I'm not looking forward to Christmas this year. She a poem. She a poet yeah. as well. A poet, and I did not know I was one. <laughs> um, in fact, never usually do look forward to Crimbo, as I just see it as a commercial event for large companies to become richer and more powerful. But woman after my own heart here. Um, where's the Jesus in that? Uh, you have to find gifts for almost everyone you know, which is stressful and expensive. Which leads me to my point. This year, I'm spending Christmas Day at my boyfriend's sister's whose fiance has like a hundred family members. Okay. What do I do? Do I get every single one of them a present each? Do I get them a group present? Are they individually getting me a present? Shall I just ask them? Shall we make a truce to where we will not be buying gifts for each other? Or will that come across as stingy help? Um, any <laughs> advice would be rather appreciated. Also, P.S., the awkward moment when you have to pretend to like a present in front of everyone. Let's just all open presents at once and not put the spotlight on anyone. Oh, fuck. Which is what you there just said. you go. Boom. Yes, yeah, she shares the same opinion as me. Yeah. And wow. the same opinion as me about Christmas being a horribly mm -hmm. over cor corporation money taxing. Yeah. Um, okay. Cesspit of okay. uh, oh. ego and uh, other generic mm -hmm. punk names. I do think, well, first of all, right, she has questions in there, but I do say, I think <clears throat> from her point of view of Christmas, right, similar to what you, oh, I, although I do think you're trying to be a bit of an arsehole, but there is like <laughs> truth in it. I do think that you have to try your hardest to enjoy this time of year. And I, I'm, I'm being serious here, right? Aside from the to questions. Try to, if you have to try to enjoy something, then it's not worth it. No, 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 but just, just hear me out, right? In this culture, 
in England, I mean, I, I'm not too sure about like other European countries, but I know in America they have far more to celebrate. In this country, we literally have the bare minimum of days of 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 days to celebrate. Um, yes, you have your birthday. And then you have Christmas, but Christmas is so much more special because you celebrate with everyone else, mm -hmm. right? Everyone collectively celebrates and tries to have a good time. I do think you need to have days where you can be like, okay, I'm going to let loose. I'm going to relax and I'm going to look forward to this time with everyone. Okay. I think you just have to try your hardest to, to understand. Yes, it's a, it's, um, it's all about money. It's super commercial, but try and look uh, try and try and look at it from a different point of view where you're spending time with your family and you're you're relaxing you have a day off everyone has a day off together and you get to spend time with your loved ones you get to you get to <coughs> show love by giving gifts and you get to receive love by receiving gifts i um i totally agree with you i, I think, think i think you've nailed it and i and i do agree and i think that is probably the best way to celebrate it i think the problem that um, lucy's having is that she it sounds like she might potentially be spending time with people that don't necessarily have such a chill approach to yeah. it where it is mm. all about like commercial yeah. and well, like basically what do you do in that situation mm. where you're spending it with people that it's all about like the presence and how much money people yeah, spend on yeah. each other and like all of the the nitty-gritty mm. details well I, I think some people, but the other thing is some people don't have, some people don't like Christmas because obviously they haven't had um, the greatest experiences at Christmas, mm -hmm. right? Whether that be family, they just don't get along with their family. And in, in that case, I'd say, well, then try and make it about your friends and try and have like special days where you go shopping with your friends or just like have a good like Christmas Eve Eve out with your friends. If you don't have friends, spoil spoil yourself rotten if you can. Yeah. Just like take care spoil of your cats yourself. and dogs as well. Yeah, exactly. Just go out, go 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 fill out on one day and just get what you want. Buy yourself a nice fucking Christmas present. must be such a confusing time for animals because they <laughs> yeah. don't know. <laughs> they don't know. Just, Everyone just, is dressed in different yeah. colors, which random, they probably can't differentiate. But random tree. There's in a, in a, a, a tree room. all of a sudden, yeah. and they get given shit loads yeah. of treats and like steak and mm -hmm. biscuits and stuff but then like after that it then it's like oh like two days later it's like that it stopped <laughs> you would just be like what what the hell like what's going on yeah yeah um, um but, but how can we help lucy yeah. do you think well, so just to just to <clears throat> reiterate basically spending uh like christmas with sure. with boyfriend sisters sorry i had to i had to tackle the start of her thing um at uh, the start of her question so basically like basically got like a hundred family members. Yeah. Um, like what do you do in that situation? I think it's, I think it's something that we all experience mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, especially when you're meeting new people yeah. or some people just have big families. Yeah. It's like, what do you do in that situation? Dude, I am not used to big family settings. Like, um, it is literally me, my mum, my three brothers and my dad uh, nice. and my auntie and my uncle sometimes. Um, obviously like, um, stepbrothers, but we don't really see them on Christmas. We see them like Boxing Day, but yeah, the ghosts. that is it, right? I, I have family in Australia, but obviously other side of the world. But even then you've just them. described a bigger family Christmas than I have, which is really? me and three other people. Well, yeah, yeah for me, it's sometimes five people. Yeah. So it's four for you, right? When I went to America to spend it with Nikki, Whoa, the difference man i mean yeah the size of, the, of her family is is huge and it's so it was so over i loved it but like it was so overwhelming at the start when i was like god i've you know there's i i just i don't know so different so foreign to what i was to what i was used to um so yeah it sounds like sorry what what's lucy did you say yeah what do you do? I think I think you need to get a common ground. I think you need to understand what you're doing here. I think you need to speak to your boyfriend. It, yeah. It's her boyfriend's sister's, sister's place. Yeah. So you need to speak to your boyfriend. And I think then the fiance of the sister has loads of All family. The, right. So confusing. But hey, I think yeah. I've got my head around it. Too far removed. I think you just need to right talk to your boyfriend and say, all right, we together need to presents for everyone right yeah and um i think he as the relative to all of that family can relay the message of either don't worry or um um or come come to a common ground with with the present situation i think he needs to sort it I out i think then for you get you. into that weird um awkward territory though where it's like oh yeah we've all agreed not to buy presents for each other this year excuse me <laughs> and right. then 
everyone then still buys presents for each other and then you look like the arsehole for right. not actually buying presents. Okay, let's let's say you're still going to get presents but he needs to sort out like how they're doing it. because he's busy though. Maybe she just wants to help out. Sorry? He, she, he might be busy. Maybe she wants to help True, out. True, but I think that would just make your life a lot easier. Hey, just yeah. can you give your mum a quick call and work out what you guys are doing? Because yeah. obviously if, if there are like 30 people at this gathering... You don't. You also, you don't know. Yeah, those I think you don't know them very well. I don't think you even, maybe by the sounds of it, don't know them well enough to even make an educated decision on mm. what gifts to buy them. Right? Um, I would say just probably easier to go quite minimal, and just if you are going over to the house and you know you're going over for dinner, for example, you know, bottle of bottle of wine, or you know, bottle of alcohol or something. And then maybe like some, you know, after dinner chocolates or something. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then it's like, hey, this is for everyone, for all of us to enjoy. Yeah. Um, and you're not having to then fork out ridiculous amounts of money for yeah. just individual people. And it's a nice gesture. A group, a group present. A group present. I think that's a good way to go. Yeah. Again, a nice group present, nice, like lovely selection of chocolates or like a big amount of, yeah, lovely, delicious treats, a bit of yeah. wine. Or you like the, the way that you can go about, it, but don't just go like buy a you know five pound bottle of wine and then like a quali quality streets or something. Like <laughs> no. go yeah. go the extra mile yeah. where it's like I'm buying a group present, but it's a really special one. Like mm. go and find like a really special something. I don't know what, but like a a, a, a panettone from like an authentic Italian restaurant or something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, you could even get like a nice. You could do like a personalized card that is about yeah, them. Yeah, that works. Uh, but I would say you really need to find, you need to talk to your, your boyfriend. Your boyfriend yeah. stands the best chance of giving you the information you need with this. He's the relative of all of those people. Yeah. Um, like also another good group present is like buy them like a reindeer or something because like kids really like that stuff. Like a, so like, yeah, like um, like a reindeer that you would get from Lapland or something in, in port. It doesn't have to be live. could be stuffed, but obviously live is probably more fun and then what you what are they going to do with it i don't know it's not, not my problem then i'm just giving them the present it's up to them to look after it then <laughs> dude terrible it's advice. boxing day boxing day uh, dinner speaking of <laughs> what as in you you kill it, and has it <laughs> i don't know me. it's not mine anymore dude, you're it's vegan. yours you're a vegan. It's your, you i'm not be, eating it i'm be. giving it to you speaking of i actually do you how, how much do you rate boxing day I sometimes rate Boxing Day higher than higher. Christmas, yeah. Because you get to like have fun with the things that you've got. And also you, <coughs> you still have a nice meal. I still like, do you have like two me, roasts in a row? You have, normally what? it's like Christmas Day and then Boxing Day is the same meal. Oh yeah, you have like leftovers. Yeah, so this yeah. is why I like Boxing Day. I mean, obviously it might be different for everyone, but I think Christmas Day is, is quite stressful sometimes, especially as you get to get older, there's more responsibility. You're probably more involved with the cooking of the Christmas yeah, dinner. Sure, yeah. um, you are for you, sure. You have to... <laughs> You are. Um, you have to, you know, obviously the present aspect is quite, not st stressful, but going back to this person's point, whereas I like definitely, I hate it when the spotlight is on mm. people when you have to open presents. Like, let's just all do it together. Uh, yeah. Um, and, I, and, you know, there's there's certain expectations. There's, this, this is a bother. Christmas is stressful. There are certain traditions that you have to hit, like, beat for beat in order for like Christmas to be the same because it has to be the same every year and the nostalgia has to be there and the traditions have to be correct and it's like sometimes that can be quite stressful like hitting those beats all the way through and for me Boxing Day is like oh cool I have no responsibilities whatsoever today yeah. every Christmas is out the way yeah. relaxed eating leftovers mm -hmm. you know watching films getting drunk yeah pretty much is Bob's your uncle I think I think you called me like whether it was the last year or the year before and you were quite merry. You'd have, you'd had a few beverages. What, on Boxing Day or oh, Christmas? You know, either one of the days, yeah. but it was nice to see you. I like, I think, I think you'd had, I can't remember what you're on. Do you have mulled wine? Do you guys do mulled uh, wine? We do. Yeah, we do. But you yeah. were quite like, like you weren't crazy, but you just like, it was a nice, it was nice to see. I was like, oh, you're having Absolutely a good time. Like you get, shattered. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, you know, I think that's fair to say. I like, uh, yeah, there's, the pressure's not there uh, that Christmas does have. Yeah. Boxing Day is just the chilled version. It's the... Christmas, Boxing Day is what like Christmas should be in yeah. terms of yeah, yeah, chilling yeah. out, relaxing. I kind of see from Boxing... I see from, from Christmas Eve to New Year's as just like a week of Christmas. Like not necessarily... Getting, oh, yeah, absolutely. Not, not getting presents all the time, but everyone's pretty much off work. Everyone's around. Family's there. Um, 
yeah, I just see that as a week of fun. But which leads me to back to the point, like I do think for mental health side of things, you do need to have days of the year to just look forward to and celebrate, even if it is a commercial piece of shit. Yeah. I do think but it's then important. For some people, I guess the stress, uh, again, there is the a lot stress. of stress that comes around Christmas and that's not necessarily healthy. Hey, and it, some people, the it, family setting is quite stressful as well. For sure. They, people not getting along with the families or just to, they're not used to big families. But I would say... Um, you know, it doesn't happen every year. I'm sure this is the first time that she's yeah. meeting these people. Um, I would also say that try and get it done as early as possible. Get the present side of things, the yeah. stressful things, get the meal prep out of the way early in terms of what you're going to do. Yeah. Plan the day out so then you can just relax. And just start drinking as early as possible. Mm -hmm. um, it just make the whole experience much more enjoyable and bearable. You know, I don't Especially when you're meeting all of those people, like I, 100, 100 family members. It's just like, it's a lot of people to meet. And quite awkward, so yeah. Because I, you know, I only, I only drink a bit of champagne on Christmas. I don't really have anything else. <sighs> okay, man. No, but like, I don't drink on Christmas. Yeah, I'm not much of a drinker. I want to savor the day. I want to savor the experience. Do you want to talk me through your Christmas? I'll talk you through mine. You don't want to hear about my Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Just, we don't need just the depressing a, just a brief episode. Summary. Um, or as a kid. Yeah, I guess uh, How we does would. It work? We would. We're not one of those families that like wake up super early for it. It's like whenever we wake up, we're just as like, a kid though you did. Oh yeah, no yeah, as a kid, hundred yeah. percent. But um, now you're like, and then we eleven o'clock. We do. Uh, we, we might do like a like a brunch or nice. or a breakfast or a lunch or something around that time. Cool. Um, that would normally be quite simple, but obviously just something nice. And then we do like presents. Um, and then we will, but like during the presents, we'll probably, you know, dinner's got to get started. Yeah. You, um, you've, got, you've got to have the smell of, of yeah. the food going whilst Christmas the dinner is like a four hour process. <laughs> also the best part of Christmas yeah. is yeah, Christmas the food. Oh, Me, yeah. I agree incredible. with that. That's probably my favorite part. Is That's got to be the best English, um, food. It, it's just Christmas yeah. dinner. Like it's the, I, you know what? I would put it up as one of the best dishes ever. It's Christmas. It dinner. is. It's got it, everything. It, it's incredible. Um, anyway, keep going. Yeah. What, and what then, do you normally have on your, the What do you normally have on your, on 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 the plate? Like, what what are you serving? Um, I mean, it would be the the normal stuff. I mean, I, I don't eat. Well, unfortunately. you're not now. No, yeah. yeah. So I how do you get around that? Past couple of Christmases, might have had a like a like um like all the standard potatoes, yeah. veg. Um, pigs in blankets, but maybe like a vegan version. Okay. Um, and then like a nut roast is always quite yes, fun. Yes, nut roast is good. Um, I like nut roast. And then yeah, yeah gravy and stuff. Just cool. the normal. I don't think we do anything particularly different than no. probably most other households. No. Cool. Um, but yeah, ben, just ben no, presents. no turkey, no chicken. Um, none of that. None of that jazz you, for me. Um, then what time are you drinking? You drinking with the meal, obviously. Uh, probably like as soon as I wake up. Really? Yeah. yeah. Get on it. What, what are you drinking? No, uh, probably as you said, like maybe like a. I don't know if we drink, yeah, like something like, uh, Fizz. yeah, in the in the morning yeah. or in the brunch time, and then like I'll probably just start having rum, whiskey. That's it. Yeah, that's the puppy that I that's think you were on last yeah. time. Rum, for some reason, rum and rum and coke is a very Christmas drink for bottle me. Of, bottle of Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you it. fucking bought a bottle of whiskey down here? Yeah, right? and you fucking, I was like, I wasn't a whiskey drinker at all. No, then. I yeah, I bought the wrong drink for the crowd, but I didn't know at the time because <laughs> it was when we started hanging out, and I was like, I've got the bottle of whiskey on, and then everyone's drinking. Boys, well, I'll take it back. Don't worry, I'll take it back. I'll be fine. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Cool. Oh, time that we nice used time. to socialize and drink. I know. Um, brief summary of my Christmas day. Um, Didn't I ask. tried to get up early. I tried to yeah. get up like relatively early to just, you know, make the most of the day. Um, go for a walk before we do anything else. Like nice walk around the block uh, yeah. with the doggy. Uh, normally dressed in in with our uh, Christmas hats on. That's cute. And we always get applauded by like older women. Applauded. Like, <laughs> applauded. Like, oh, man. Well, I remember last year, we have it on camera. You did Some nothing. woman was like, I know, we literally wore Santa hats and some woman went, well done, guys. <laughs> like, probably just like happy that we're getting into the festive spirit. Are, are getting applauded for getting into the festive spirit. Meanwhile, there's like a surgeon performing like heart surgery <laughs> like yeah. on at, at the same time and then like nobody acknowledges hey, them whatsoever. Man. But you put a Christmas hat on, so that's great. Hey man, that happens. Yeah. It happens all the time in life. Yeah. Right? I open the door for a woman, she goes, oh, thank you, you know. I just get, Six get, people applauded. Yeah, exactly. I don't know where golf clap. <laughs> uh, go around the block, come back. That's where the bubbly pops out. 
I no, I think we normally have it quite early on. Yeah, you do. Like, like that's what I mean. Like, you like start drinking quite early thing. on Christmas. Like, um, yeah. Then, um, apart from you, my auntie. Normally, before my auntie's house was sold, we'd go to. From that point, we'd go, or we'd we'd have presents, and then we'd go, um, to uh, my auntie's house, which is in the countryside. Like, uh, you have no idea where what Kent. What? Well, you went. You were at my auntie's house. Yeah. You? So in the countryside, in a place called um, Chillingdon. Anyway, not that's not around anymore. But it <laughs> was the coolest place to spend Christmas because it was in the field. We spent Christmas at our third house, in, and uh, no, it's my auntie's <laughs> house, man. Your auntie has a house. You don't have an auntie, or do you? No, I do. Yeah. You do, right? Yeah. I have um, a few. So. And it's like a that you know thatch roof. I don't have an auntie. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> thatch roof, like Victorian looking house, right? Or maybe not Victorian, but older, you know. Cool. Um, and it's just a really cool place to spend Christmas. Then she, she, you know, even to this day, she'd create a little uh, treasure hunt for Cute. us with clues to where our oh, final present dude, would be. I so you, love treasure hunts. Oh, the best man. I'm so down. They're the best. That will get actually that will get me into the Christmas spirit That's as a little it. treasure hunt get, or Easter your, ask, Easter egg hunt. Ask as well. your sister or your mum. Can you just create for <laughs> one of my presents? Could you just can you create just, a treasure just hunt me for and me? Just create yeah. a treasure hunt. Um, but yeah, we get a treasure hunt, which is always so fun. Uh, but lead us to our main present, right? And then after that, we just like yeah, sit down and uh, she, uh, my auntie would make the meanest, bad boyest. Christmas dinner and it just smells so good throughout the house like that's it cool stay there until the evening yeah. go home just boom watch watch film watch for, oh by the way I have to watch Home Alone every year oh, I just have God. to man that's, uh, that, for me that's like that's Christmas torture. music where it's yeah. like oh let's get some new films on guys do you know why I'm doing it I'm forcing nostalgia <laughs> forcing that's that's it sad yeah it's, um, the I'm treasure hunting though did remind me of there's a dude that literally quit his job right um, and started this business where you, for example, you and a friend or you and your girlfriend or whatever, yeah. you pay him like a couple grand, right? <laughs> and he hooks you up with a treasure hunt. But it's like, incredible. it's, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure if you want it to be, it's international. Like wow. it's, or, or at least within your country. And he'll like, you know, do like clues and prizes and like little hidden Easter eggs and stuff like that. Like, and then it's like, it's on like a, as I said, like a global scale where it's almost like the amazing race. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's what's a genius a, idea. What's a hero? But like, he's obviously just one of those guys who's really good at coming up with puzzles and clues yeah. and stuff. And that does take a type of person to be, yeah. good, to be good at that stuff. I, I think. think it's worth the money. For sure. So if anyone's looking for what to buy me for Christmas, I'd like that multi thousand pound treasure hunt, please. Well, I think it's going to be clear that someone will make you a treasure hunt this year, my man. We'll make it happen for you. Okay? Thanks, man. No, no you, uh, you guys actually would on my birthday. You would do a treasure hunt because yep. you know how much I love treasure hunts. Well, I think even then we didn't necessarily know, but we we knew you'd like it because it's assume. a form of game, <laughs> and you're a game. Tam loves games. Games. Yeah. Yeah. I do love games, and you love that. And, you, and 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 going back to Christmas, that was probably one of the highlights of Christmas. Yeah. Is like playing charades. Yep. Fucking yeah. love charades. So we're not much of a we're not much of a like a, a gaming family mm. in that sense like the boys are you should yeah. have me over yeah but but we never do like charades or, or is it charades charades do we say charades in england i think charades is the posh version charades charades when you say charades if you're not a twat <sighs> wow man or a twat 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 that's such a that's such yeah. a weird way of saying it in, in, the, in the american can't say twat can't say twat twat um yeah anyway cool Merry Crimbo. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, what a year it's been. And thank you so much for uh, coming on this journey with us. Thanks for writing in. Thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing. Um, thanks for listening. Um, yeah. We we look at the stats. We look at the comments. We look at the likes. Um, and you guys have been doing great work. Uh, yeah, by this yeah. point, it will, it will almost have been four months since yeah. the first episode... Well, because it's been well, close to be 16, close to 16 weeks, which yeah. is four months or three months. Doesn't matter. Four um, months. And I think that's incredible. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm joking. But it's incredible. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's, just, it's just cool. Thanks for, and I know it's nothing crazy numbers wise, but there's um, a core certain amount of you, which is, yeah. which we genuinely do appreciate. And, and Americans as well. So that's yeah. great. 
Um, so now we're going to cue a highlight reel like they do in the, you know, in the old TV shows where it's like, it's Christmas. Let's do a, uh, what, what do they call it? Like, yeah, like it was like the, let's look at the highlights from this season. Yeah. Um, so cue the, cue the highlight reel, no, Nick. We're not going to do that. Nick's man. editing this one. Cue it yeah. up, man. Best Dude. bits from oh. season one. Best bits season one. Let's Dude. go. Dude, we're not doing it. Dude, da, da, da. It's Christmas. That's the music that I always put over. Can't do it, man. What do you mean? There's just no point. Oh. We're not big enough yet. Right, but when, when we're hitting Millie views... Cue the highlight reel. Millie views, then we'll do it. All right, so that's on you guys. If you want All to right. see the highlight reel... If this video doesn't get a million views, then we're not doing a highlight reel. And there you go. That's a threat. That's a threat that I'm willing to put out there. Um, okay. No, thanks for watching, guys. Right. Would you rather... Oh, oh I, got, I actually got one for you as well. Okay, go on, hit me. Would was... you... This is a Christmas-themed one. Would you rather... Um, every time you poop, you poop scorching hot, hot chocolate. So it's chocolate, but it's so hot, boiling hot. But it smells and tastes of chocolate. Yeah, but it's boiling hot. Every it hurts. time you poop. It hurts, yeah. It hurts, you know, as if you've had like a, Spicy food. a vindaloo the night before. <laughs> yeah, you, you've had Spicy. You've, you've got, you're on hot ones. You're on hot ones. Yeah, and you got yeah, to the but, it's, but at least it's chocolate, right? Okay. Or you ejaculate snow, like ice cold snow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what is really the problem with the last one? Does it hurt yeah, it's, you? Well, it's cold. Yeah. It's probably not very pleasant for whoever you're having relations with as well. well I don't think that would be no. anywhere near as bad. Refreshing, as, some might say. <laughs> yeah. Especially in the summer. Yeah. That would be incredible. Oh my God. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think... I think the absolute paedophile pervert water sport man. I've got to call right. them down. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to call the I've got to got to call the kids down. Get away! No, from the kids. You can't. Oh, I thought you said pedo. I'm really sorry. Yeah, no, pervert. I did. I did. Oh, but okay. that's, I, Terrible. Yeah, awful. Um, I think the poop, the boiling hot poop, would just kill your ass. Yeah. I think it'd have to be the other one. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. What was your one? Um, I was just going to try and make it up on the spot, oh, but okay. I don't really have one. Um, would you rather Christmas <coughs> exists? Christmas, oh, all the Christmas music that was written in the past all go away and they have to be written um, from from scratch from today onwards. They're, they're, they're all, all written by Rebecca Black? No, all don't, no, that's not it. They just all have to be written from today okay. onwards, right? Or no more Christmas music can ever be written. Just definitely no more Christmas music. We don't need it. You just said you need more. Mu Earlier on, you're like, we need more music. Yeah, because the the old stuff is is just so repetitive. Yeah, so that's all you're going to be able to listen to. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Dude, you, you clearly don't care that much about <laughs> it. You fucking made my, my <laughs> would you rather shit because I was what trying to mean? tailor it to you. What do you mean? I was saying you said that you hate all the Christmas music. Why can't they write new ones? Yeah, like, yeah. So but was, you said, but the other option is just no Christmas music. No, or they have to. they either have to start writing music all the old music goes and they have to start from today and they have to write new Christmas music or the old one dis they, they didn't exist or or the old ones only exist and, and new ones oh, can't be written. right okay so I, I miss, okay. miss, misheard it oh yeah get rid of all the old one and let's just really? write new ones yeah so you don't care about you know simply have it one <laughs> man <come> it's on. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> <laughs> that sums up our 2020 Christmas um, thanks for watching guys and we will catch you in the new year yeah we're going to do a new year one as well yeah. where we're going to have um, 2020 glasses which yeah. we're going to try no we're happy to be 2021 yeah. yeah 2021 super awkward yeah right I'm done with this see you later guys peace